<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year! Um, I'm super excited for this upcoming year. It's going to be amazing. Uh, discovering more twice and a lot of uh, new music. So I'm really, really excited. Thank you so much for being with me this last year. Um, it's been great actually uh, you guys know I've been loving this girl so freaking much that it was an amazing discovery last year and that um, obviously I knew about them but it took like a while for me to actually get into them because they have such a large discography that it was a bit overwhelming but we are here we are done with the music but we still have one album to go which is the remixes mm, so that's what i'm gonna do today disclaimer i actually wanted to do the healing december i believe it's like time to twice but i wanted to do the healing december last week but since i decided to like take a week off and spend the holidays with my family i didn't half the time to do it on December and I wanted to do it today but since it's like for December and it's not December anymore I didn't know if I wanted to do that so yeah I think I'm gonna wait until like it's time for that time to twice to actually do it but um yeah I'm just really excited to to see what's coming for them this year and to see what's coming for me this year as well so yeah We'll do the remixes, as I said, uh, we'll start with, well, there's actually Moonlight Sunrise uh, with Jonas Blue, The Field with Ian Asher, Set Me Free Carnival, Alcohol Free English Version, Cry For Me English Version, I Can Stop Me, featuring Boys Like Girls, and More and More with Lee Heso. So I'm really, really excited. I've heard great things about this and uh, remixes i don't really know if you guys wanted me to do it or not but since it's like the actual last album uh, even though we know all the songs uh, i'm gonna do it and start the year with songs that we know so yeah i don't know if there's much difference with the like original song i guess we'll see but i'm super super excited so yeah let's go actually i'm super happy that we're starting the year with twice like it's the perfect beginning not only because it's twice but because it's like the year starts with like um in like a monday which is interesting so yeah it's it has to be a good year we start with twice what the fuck <laughs> okay the first song from this album is moonlight sunrise let's go Been craving for your love, can't see nobody but us. So I, so I, so I see it from across the room. Make my way over to you. I don't really listen to remixes, so I'm interested to see. Okay, I like it. I like it. I'm a bit weird with remixes, not gonna lie. But it's nice. It's literally a club song, like they took a lot of the person out. Which, okay. <laughs> I love them. I 
Oh yes, yes, it's really good. I really like this. I miss some of the lyrics, like I hope Okay, I, I like, I, I wait until the end I like, I really like this, but I wish there were a few more lines from like the actual song because I feel like the only parts there actually was from the original song was the beginning and Moonlight Sunrise, which we love, but I kind of wish there was a bit more of like the actual lyrics i actually didn't think this song could be more like happy fun and it is because this is like actually a club song <laughs> which is nice but um i'm actually really happy that um they did this with jonas blue because he's really really good i really like his um his music i think the one that i actually listen to the most from him is uh, Mama with William Sinch, I believe it is. That song, like I was so freaking obsessed with that song. So I really, I'm really happy that they did this with him because obviously we, we love the girls, but like seeing them together with people that we also enjoy and the music too, it's amazing. So it was really good. Like he really did a good job with this remix you can't go wrong if the bass is already good you know what i mean <laughs> okay let's go now with the next song which is the feels with ian asher which i don't know a single thing about his music or him so i don't really know what to expect um but it's gonna be great because the feels is great <laughs> So, um, yeah, let's go. Okay, this has the weekend fell so far. <laughs> It's literally the weekend. It's so loud. Jesus Christ, it's completely different. my god, I, I don't know how to feel about this one. Like, I like it. But it's so different. It's not really the feels, you know? At least they saved some lines. <laughs>
thank god it's it ended because i really wanted to say something like oh my god um i know the whole point of remixes is to like make the song more like have only a, a different approach and like mm, it's obviously it doesn't really make sense that it's literally the same but like this is why i don't know if i like remixes that much because this is not the feels like it literally it's literally not the feels and i love it like this song is great and i'm for sure gonna listen to it again but it's not the feels you know what i mean they literally just used a couple lines of the song same with moonlight sunrise but i feel like since they kept the moonlight sunrise it's and they said it throughout the song a bunch of times i feel like it made more sense and this one even though i like it doesn't feel like the feels at all you know so i don't know how to feel about that because yeah i like it but i don't know <laughs> um as i said for moonlight sunrise um if you use as like the inspiration or base a song that it's already good it can not be good you know but it's not the fields so i don't know <laughs> but yeah let's go to the next one which is set me free a uh, carnival remix is that how you say that okay let's go with set me free let's see what they did with this one let's go kind of what I was expecting. Yeah. Oh fuck yes, yes, this is what I was expecting. <laughs> English, like the English, English lyrics. Jesus. Okay, 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 okay. See, this is like completely... Like, the remixes are good and, and I feel like, as I said at the beginning, the point of it is kind of like to give the song a different approach and like to have a more bouncy club-like song for these ones. So seeing the actual song being there, like you could sing along to this, 
this is kind of what I was expecting for the whole album, like the song being here, but changing like the, the beat and like the instrumental, but having like this song. So the last one caught me really off guard, but like this is great. I really love this one. This is great. I like, I actually love starting the year with this type of album because it's just so fun. I love it. Okay. The next one is alcohol free the english version so i think it's like not a remix at all it's just like the english version so because i think i've said this before but i kind of have mixed feelings about alcohol free like i really love this song but i really need to be in the vibe for it you know what i mean like it's not a song that i would listen to constantly does that make sense Hopefully it does. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Okay, the lyrics, like the font is really cool. Let's go. Okay. 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 Nice. Oh, nice. There's a thing that I don't really like about English uh, versions, and that is like the forced English lyrics to fit the actual timing of everything like if it doesn't fit don't use that line you know so i love that this actually fits perfectly like they did really really good it's actually <laughs> okay, I love this. This is so good. When the stars come out at I love those lines. I've never realized that these lines are sung by Mina and you. 
that's not nice for me like that's literally killing me if they actually kept the line distribution which i don't really know that was nice like this is literally alcohol free and as i said it really fits like the english re lyrics really fit and they added like the Rio de Janeiro bit and I love that, obviously. <laughs> um, it's really good, but they, I just read on the comments that um, they actually changed um, a few bits that were in English. So that really doesn't make sense, but um, I really loved it. I really love, love, love this. It's really good. Obviously, there's no comparison to like the original i love that one um but it's really good and as i said like everything really fits together i feel like there was nothing really like pushed together like it was really good it felt natural you know and their english pronunciation is really good i really really like it so good i am so happy okay let's go to the trouble i knew that i was gonna have troubles with this song because i don't really remember if i did cry for me in english already or not i think i haven't i don't i don't know but the next one is cry for me english version and i'm in trouble because i love this song so much so much and we have Jonghyun here. I know that she is on the original, but like, I don't know, seeing her pictures with this song is actually making me so happy. Okay, <laughs> let's go. I love this song so much. I don't know if I'm just into even I'm confused. All my friends hit your guts, but I'm still defending you. I can seem to cut you loose. I love this song. I swear to God, she's just Oh, 
Like, there's no freaking way you can make a bad song out of this song. This is amazing. Yeah, it doesn't sound like awkward at all. Like, they sound really good. The song is really good by itself and like the Korean version. So making it not awkward, the pronunciation is really good and like giving gifting this to us international fans to like completely understand the song like we obviously look for the lyrics but like it's amazing to like understand the song on the first go but it, like this is really really good i think sometimes english like it happens to me too with uh, japanese versions of korean songs sometimes it feels awkward like this song doesn't feel right if it's not like the language that you first heard it from but this song does not like that did not happen at all with this song i know cry for me has a bunch of english parts but like it felt really as if i've heard this song three thousand times before you know what i mean in english i don't know if it's like really good geos and nyon's part where they freaking pop off when they start seeing the this part like they freaking kill this this song is it like i really freaking love this song and i can't wait to actually um hear and see like a live performance of this song with jonghyun because i don't think i've seen this song with all of them okay let's go with i can't stop me which is a it's another song that i literally would die for and i know that this song is featuring with boys like girls which i don't know a thing about okay they are a rock band oh that's dangerous i'm so excited for this i don't know why you guys said it's great like this one's great so yeah oh and it's the one that has like the most amount of listens on spotify which is interesting <laughs> okay the song the song Okay, I'm stressed, but I'm really excited. Okay, this is so good. Ooh, 
looks really good. Oh, it's so good. Shut the fuck up. I didn't know this song could get any better. I'm in love. I'm in love. I love this freaking song. What the fuck happened to this song? This is so good. He really fitted the like the rest of the girl, like the girls' voices. He really really fit it like obviously i don't know his work i don't think i know his work like any song from them so i don't really know if he adapted to them or if he really fits that much with the girls but he's crazy like this really was insane and not only that but like the whole verse that he had was so fucking good like not only the voice but like how it they changed obviously that part and it really 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 fitted the song oh my god this is great oh my god this was so good my favorite no doubt like you guys were right this one's insane and i'm so happy that it's actually really appreciated like from once as, as now, well let's yes. finish this album with one more song which is more and more and it's a, a remix again and it's sped up okay stressful i don't know how i feel about that okay let's see what they did with this song lige sol sped up remix okay let's go Okay, how are they going to do the first dance break? Oh, they completely changed it. I don't know how to feel about this one either. I think 
feel like I don't have time to process anything. <laughs> Oh Jesus, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know how to feel about about this one. I feel like I, oh, it's super, like, too quick for me. Like I couldn't, literally couldn't process anything that was going on. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's good because the song is good, but I don't know. I think I didn't really vibe with this one. Shall we? <laughs> okay, so this was great. I think, okay, let's see. I think the ones that I like the most are obviously number one, I Can't Stop Me. That was insane. Then I would probably say Moonlight Sunrise. I'm not gonna count the English versions because I feel like that's literally the same song but like different language. So like within the remixes and like the featurings, I'm gonna say I Can Stop Me, Moonlight Sunrise and probably Set Me Free. I think, yeah. But Cry For Me in English that's in my top three for sure on like the whole freaking album that was insane it was really good i was expecting like I i've said this at the beginning but i'm not really into remixes that much so i don't really listen to the to them even from like groups that i've been standing from a long time for a long time i've like i don't listen to remixes at all so this was a surprise because obviously um it's like the, the first mini album full of like remixes that i do so it was new but it was nice i really really like it and most of the songs as i said the last one is not like really my cup of tea because that speed is not something that i can keep up with <laughs> but yeah i really really like it and the reason why The Feels is not on my top three is mainly because it doesn't feel like The Feels. The song, as I said, is like a bop, but since it doesn't really have the, the feeling of like the actual song, it's like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to feel yet, but I guess we'll see when I listen to these songs a bit more. But yeah, for now, this is like my ranking. So yeah, we're officially kickstarted this year. Um, I, I guess we'll see what the year brings to me, to you guys, and for these beautiful girls. I love them so freaking much. I'm so excited to start with more, uh, like continue with more live performances, as I said, and to do more time to twice and all this. And compilations, I'm so freaking excited to start with compilations. So yeah. I guess we'll see how like I organize my life to do all these things to try and like not keep up with all of their things but like to kind of try to watch as much as I can this year so I hope you guys come with me and stay during this year and yeah